and try to explain hard drive speeds. This is a piece of paper. You can fit about 31,000 in one of these rolls. I put a line on this roll, so hopefully when it's spinning, you'll be able to see it. This roll is now spinning at full speed. When it starts writing data, it's going to start on the outside. This roll is about 50 inches from top to bottom. And this piece of paper is 22 inches from top to bottom. So if you were to start here and work your way around, just on the outside circumference of the roll, you could fit it about well, seven times. But as you get more towards the center, it's gonna be folding over on itself. We can do this mathematically. It's 50 inches from top to bottom, 50 inch diameter, uh, 3.14. It's 157 inches in circumference. 157 divided by 22, it's about 7.1 times. So that means this piece of paper can fit around this roll. 7.136 times. But as you get to the center, this last piece of data is four inches in diameter. So, 3.14 times four, 12.56. So 22 inches, it will wrap around one time and then about another half. Now the hard drive is gonna spin at the same rate all the time. And that's depending on what you buy. Most of the fast ones now are 7,200 RPM, revolutions per minute. So per second, divide that by 60, that is 120 revolutions per second. So it's gonna spin around 120 times every second. And if it's spinning around 120 times and it's reading it here, where you can get seven pieces of paper, it's gonna give you a ton more data than if it's at the center. Let's calculate that. 120 revolutions per second times 7.136 is 856.32. 856 pieces of data every second. Now this was 12.56 divided by 22. This is 0.57. We multiply 120 times 0.57. And that gives you 68.4. So in the same amount of time, depending on where it's reading on the roll, it can either read 856 units or 68 units. Now keep in mind that even though that's a gigantic difference, that's only because we exploded it out to a roll the size of this. Whereas most platters are gonna be much closer to this size. And so that difference isn't gonna be quite as significant. But you can still see it will slow down over time. So when you first buy a computer, it's going to be nice and fast and everything's going to be cooking. And as you fill up that hard drive, it's going to be getting slower and slower and slower until at the end, it's going to feel like, well, you just need a new computer. It's getting too slow now. When in fact, all you had to do was erase the hard drive and it'd be fast again.